Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. Um, it suddenly cleared this evening, having been um, quite rainy all afternoon. So I've quickly got some gear outside. Um, it's a little bit chilly, one, two degrees. So I'm uh, pretty well all downed up tonight. I've got my blueberry, or what my daughter calls my blueberry down jacket out. And I've got my uh, rab down puffy pants. Um, that I've been taking while camping and stuff. Um, they're tremendous. My legs feel really nice and warm. And I've got a pair of down slippers on as well. So um, yeah, I'm all downed up tonight. My name's John and I make videos on camping, walking and astronomy. If you like what you see in this video, then please check my channel out as you may find others that interest you there. But in the meantime, let's crack on with this video. My target this evening is the Triangulum Galaxy, which is a galaxy within our local group. The primary members are our Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy and the Triangulum Galaxy. Triangulum Galaxy is quite small, much smaller than the Andromeda Galaxy. I haven't imaged it for a number of years um, and I haven't been particularly successful at it. So it will be interesting to see how I'll get on today. But um, yeah, I've just done my polar alignment, so I'm going to go out in a minute and um, do a two star alignment and uh, try and get my focus set on my camera and slew it over to the uh, Triangulum Galaxy. So the kit that I'm going to be using tonight then is going to be the um, Skywatcher EQM 35 mount, which is the heavier of my two mounts, but still light by EQ mount standards. And I'm going to be using my uh, William Optics Red Cat 51 scope. It's probably not a perfect scope for um, these sort of target because it's got quite a wide field of view but the um, lens quality I think is really good and the camera's sort of quite a high pixel camera so I'm hoping I can uh, crop in. The camera's a Canon Astro modified DSLR the Astro modification is probably not going to be much use with um, the Triangulum Galaxy, but I think there's quite a lot of um, hydrogen alpha kind of nebulae and things in there, so it might pick some of those up. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, uh, to using this kit because I really enjoy it. Okay, that's us uh, on target, all focused, exposure sorted out and everything. So I'm going to do um, maybe 120 exposures uh, if I'm lucky, if it doesn't cloud over or something. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to go in and cook our tea now and uh, come back in a couple of hours. Right, everything's getting super dewed up now. I reckon I've got somewhere between an hour and a half and two hours worth of exposures. So um, yeah, I'm going to drag everything in now and um, it's still early enough for me to have a little look at my data as well. So I'll bring you back once I've done some processing. Well, it's now actually a couple of weeks later and um, we're now just the other side of Christmas. The weather here has gone from being kind of minus seven at night and crystal clear, albeit um, with a bit of a full moon, to, um, as you can see here, pretty well non-stop rain for the last 10 days or so. Um, this has been really annoying, partly on the uh, astro front, it's just been impossible to get out. And you'd have thought that I would have had some astro gear um, from Santa this year that's brought all these clouds in. Um, so yeah, that wasn't the case. So somebody else is buying a lot of astro gear, I think. Um, 
But I got this uh, new gravel stroke adventure bike um, that Santa brought me from the North Pole. Um, it's been a bit annoying that I haven't been able to get out on it properly. Um, it's a, a Mason Boca bike, which is um, a brand based down the road from me in Sussex. Uh, and I look forward to getting that out a, a bit next year and hopefully getting on, on one or two of my videos. Uh, I might do a bike packing trip or a, even a potential glamping trip in a um, one of these pod land pod type things that I might do in it next year, as well as um, normal bike riding. Um, but yeah, on the Astro front, I managed to get 90 minutes of exposure in the end before all my kit dewed up. Um, so I'm probably going to get a lens heater or something. I think like a camera lens heater would, would do the job. Um, I use my usual processing on that data. Um, Sequator I use for stacking. Um, the alternative is, is Deep Sky Stacker which a lot of people use. Um, it's a bit more complex than Sequitor, uh, but it's more powerful, but it also takes quite a lot longer. So usually I go for the, the Sequitor route. The result that I got, I was uh, quite pleased with. It's a, a, quite a significant jump up from my previous results. Um, it's not perfect and of course you know I look on the internet and on YouTube and that sort of thing and um, you see plenty of images that are better than mine um, but nonetheless I'm very happy with it and I think for any of you who are thinking about sort of dabbling in, in astrophotography maybe moving from visual to, to astrophotography that's the key to it really there's always people who are putting up better pictures than you um, the thing is, you want to be pleased with, with what you're doing yourself. And um, to be honest, e even at the relatively basic level that, that I'm doing it at, I find it astounding that these are things that you can take pictures from, from a, a, an urban back garden, without using hugely expensive kit. Um, yeah, so if anybody's thinking about dabbling with astrophotography in the, the, the coming year, I'd, um, I'd say, yeah, go and give it a go. Um, don't compare yourself too much with others. Uh, wherever you are in the, the, the journey of astrophotography, there'll always be people who are better than you. Um, be pleased with what you get and gradually you'll, you'll sort of improve over time, partly through skill levels and partly through getting slightly better kit. Um, but on that front, I shall put my picture of uh, the Triangulum Galaxy up now. And I wish you all for next year uh, a really good 2023 and clear skies to all of us who are trying to get outside and do visual or astrophotography. So, uh, yeah, take care till next time. Mm -hmm.